Hello everyone, welcome to Electronics Hub. In this video, we will design three-way passive crossover. So this is circuit for it. It is called as three-way because we are having three different outputs. It is passive because we are only using passive components R and C. And why it is called as crossover? I will tell you about it later. So this is having three different circuits, three different bandpass filters. So let's check the values of these. So for first bandpass filter, we are having one micro one K for high pass, one K and fifteen nano for low pass. This makes one high pass. Now we'll go to second one. High pass is with thirteen nano one K, low pass is with one K one nano. And last but not the least, third one has one nano one K for high pass, point one nano and one K for low pass. Firstly place the output then input. Now we'll place the second one space and the third one space. So this is our output. So you can see that uh, we are having a crossover point between the uh, higher cutoff of first and lower cutoff of second and crossover point between higher cutoff of second and lower cutoff of third. So due to these two crossover points, we are having three different zones. This is first zone, this is middle zone, and this is higher zone, lower, middle, higher. So that's why it is called as crossover due to these two crossover points. If we are having only these two parts, that is only two uh, bandpass filters, then it will be two-way passive crossover. Now we'll see. Uh, I will edit the graph. Stop frequency will be ten m. Now space. Now this looks good. Okay, if you want uh, the sharp cut off, then you can change or increase the order of filters. That is, second order uh, bandpass filter will be repeating this circuit again and then getting the output of it. Okay, so that's it from this video. If you have any doubts, then please comment below. And thank you for watching the video.